CBS News correspondent Murray Frompson and other reporters talked to the two of them about the enemy assault that began with the appearance of tanks. How did they find their way towards the camp? Oh, well, they had a spotlight, and at this time there were two sappers in the wire, uh, cutting the wire. And they had pointed the way for them, and then I imagine they pointed the way into the their target. How did you escape from the camp? At 2 o'clock, uh, 2 o'clock, 2.15, myself and the team sergeant uh, went down the northern portion of the camp and went through the wire and outside. We set up out there for the night. And then what happened in the morning? In the morning, uh, we still heard firing from, well, during the night, we heard the tanks were still rolling up and down the hill. So we assumed that they had command of the hill. And uh, daylight, we started to go back where we could see the camp. And we saw people up there, no tanks at that time. They were gone. And was, uh, I couldn't see any. And the people that were there were on the eastern portion of the camp moving up. And then they moved back down. Uh, they were firing at this time. So uh, we concluded from that that they were friendly. And we waved at them and went out and 